I'm Mark Allen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank Rough, R-U-F, which stands for Raw, Uncut, and First Impressions. A brand new video series we've rolled out, which is all about calling it as I see it. First impressions with products, products I haven't seen. Home Office just sends me a box, I open it up, and as I experience the product, I share my impressions with it. Uncut, I mean, I'm not even prepped for this video. I haven't shaved in a couple days, didn't do my hair, didn't even shave my legs for this thing. That's the point of the video series. All right, let's jump into it. Home Office sent me a big box this week. Let's see what's in here. Like Christmas. Red Sea Reef Dose. Okay. Ooh. Colored tubing. Dose. I'm assuming this is for a, uh, looks like dosing pumps tube. So we have hot pink, red, hot orange, neon orange, neon yellow. Let's have a look at that since that's the first thing I've come across. Let's see if they're really, whoa, they're really that color. Look at that. Hot pink. Yeah, that's different than like clear and black that you usually get or orange. Red. Oh, here's an orange. There's a fluorescent orange. Gotta love uh, the fluorescent yellow. Very 80s-ish. That's cool. I dig it. Oh, this is cool too. Look, they have little like dosing line holder things. Pop them open and uh, it holds your dosing line. It looks like it's got screw holes in the back here. So you can mount this thing to the wall and then mount it to the wall this way. Put your lines in and then it snaps shut, which keeps them. That's cool. There's one, two, three, four. This is four over the tank. Looks like that's got like tightens down. That holds on your tank. And then we have one, two, three, three of the wall mounts, the guides, let's call them. So that's cool. So that's the Reef Dose four color tube kit, red, yellow. Oh, look four color dose tube kit in blue green. So this has purple, blue, and then two shades of green. So same thing, but uh, different colors. Yep, same thing says on the back. So that's cool. So we have uh, a red kind of color justification kit and then a blue and green. So if you're dosing a lot of stuff, you can differentiate that. So that's cool. That's neat to see some different colors and I like the little mounts as well. All right, Reef Dose 2. That looks like a two head pump. Uh, and then a Reef Dose 4. So hang on. It's not like FedEx or UPS treat the box any better. So we have Reef Dose 4, four head dosing pump, and then Reef Dose 2, uh, two head dosing pump. So uh, let's jump into the two first. Let's just open this thing up. I know the dentists out there don't use your teeth as a tool, sorry. It's raw and uncut. It's not like I got scissors. Oh, that's, so I always like these packages where you slide them off the top because one, it's like, you got to get it off. <laughs> oh, and when you take everything out, you have two similar size containers which is really great for storing stuff. And these are nice and deep and square. So there you go. Nothing like saving boxes. Thanks mom. My mom saved boxes for everything. She probably still has some of my old aquarium boxes because that's what she does. All right, so we have a manual. I take it you're supposed to read these things. Um, oh, look at this. So these are all red sea things, but they're labels so you can label what you're dosing. So it's foundation calcium, foundation B, foundation C, no pox. So these are all red C elements, but I mean, there's no reason you couldn't just put this on there and say that's calcium, magnesium, alkalinity. All right, so one thing I'm thinking here, well, look at this. So here's a blank sheet, same thing, like contact self sticky stuff, and it's blank. So you can write in your own labels. That's cool. I'm digging that. I'm looking for a QR code. I'm thinking that a lot of these apps now, they want you to download an app uh, and set things up. Sometimes there's a QR code in the box to take you right to it. 
So there's not, okay, that's not the end of the world. I'm just thinking that sometimes I see those. Oh, look at that. This guy's small. Look at that. That's not very big. It's like the size of my hand. This is the two head here. I'm looking on the back. It looks like there's a, oh, that's cool. Check this out. So there's a mounting bracket. You mount this to the wall, and then this just slides in like that. The other thing I'm noticing, looks like that's probably a reset button. Even if this is mounted on the wall, I can get my finger back there and probably press that without having to take this thing off. There's no button to push on this. It just slides right in and holds it there. So that's a nice little mounting bracket. Now on the front here, we have manual dose buttons. Like if you wanted to prime the line, and this thing's, I'm gonna say five by three by three. So nice and small, that's the two head one. Let's take a look at the power supply. Power supplies are starting to annoy me recently. Okay, so this is the little brick. It's not really a brick. You know, sometimes I have the external brick, let's call them, we have the plug and then the brick and then the lead. So this thing plugs straight into your wall or your power brick. All right, uh, let's call it your surge protector, power bus, whatever, where you plug one cord in and you get multiple outlets. All right, so mixed bag for me on this. Sometimes I like the bricks because then it's just a cord into your power strip and you don't have to worry about this big eating up all those different uh, outlets on your power strip. You know, remember you always try to put these on the end because they hang off and they, you, if I put this on the top, then it would cover up probably two, three outlet covers. It'd be nice if this would rotate. It's not the end of the world. It's just something I'm thinking of. Uh, it's got probably a couple foot lead on it. So it's not the end of the world. It is something that, uh, you know, I'm starting to notice with power supplies. All right, so there's that. We got some mounting screws here. That's nice, they give you screws. And look at that, a glass beaker. That's solid, you usually get the cheap plastic ones. That's, I feel like I'm back in science class. Lab, that's cool. So this is probably for calibrating. I mean, it's solid, right? This is a, it's glass, hopefully it's not breakable, but it just feels solid and well built. Okay, so that's first impressions on the two. Let's take a quick look at the four. One thing I said when we rolled out this video series, this is more complicated stuff. You know, the first week would be looking at it, the second week would be diving into it more. So I'll do that with these reef dose, uh, dosers. I'll download, install the app. Uh, maybe I'll mount these things up and give you guys more of an in-depth once I've played with this thing for a little bit. Another fun, I'm sure Red Sea's like, oh no, don't shake the thing. Well, sorry, I don't want to destroy the packaging. Okay. <laughs> Who knew that getting something out of a box? All right, I got it here. I'm squeezing this between my legs. Take it, uh, most of the audience is male. They don't want to see that. Okay, the top is off. We've got another round of instructions. Let's take a look at those in a second. Then we have the pre-made labels for Red Sea stuff, and then the blank ones too. I, that's, I gotta stop for a minute, that's cool. Okay, understand you got the Red Sea stuff because it's a Red Sea product. They want you to use their stuff, I get it. But it's cool, they also give you blank, so you can make your own if you want it or use these. I like the choice. That's cool, Red Sea, good job. Look at the manual in just a second. All right, so same thing as the two power brick. I like that to rotate. Not to end the world for me. We've got another um, beaker there, graduated cylinder for calibrating, I bet. More screws this time. Let's pull this thing out. Similar to the two. Two dosing heads. Comes with a bracket that slides right out. There's no like tab you have to press to release it. This slides right in. Four mounting holes, so that's solid. And then we got the reset button. I bet that's what that is up top. So this is cool, I'm noticing, right here on the back of this. So the power cord comes in, and then it plugs in there. So it's not sitting on the front, it doesn't have to sit on the back. This will mount flush to your wall, and it gives the power cord a place, here I'll show you, uh, to come out the side without making 
the whole thing hang off the wall, which is cool. So we're just going to plug this in here. Here's the power supply. So that plugs in like that. And then that threads out there. So that sits flush against your wall. Okay, so I could be picky here and say it'd be nice to have a channel on the side to like route your wire maybe this way if you want it or down. It's just gonna hang out the side of it. Look, not the end of the world, but something that's coming to mind as I'm taking a look at this. Now that I say that, let's have a look at the two. The two also has the same way to hide the power cord. That's cool. And with that, all right. Take a quick look at these instructions. Next week I'll dive more into this. Uh, da, 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 device guide, power, LED, ooh, Wi-Fi. Okay, so Wi-Fi settings. So it looks like you can get this thing on your Wi-Fi network connected to the ReefBeat app. But it looks like, I wonder if you can use it without it being on your network. I'll have to read that. Do some investigating there. Power supply, mounting, priming buttons on the front. So, looks like you have to use without permanent connection. You need to be connected. All right. So, what you can do is you can have it on internet mode. So wherever you have an internet connection, you can communicate with the Reef Dose with the Reef Beat app, or you can have it on local network only. So you can only get to it if you're on uh, the same wireless connection as the Red Sea Reef Dose. And then there's also offline direct mode, which means you can directly connect to it, connect to it every single time um, and then make your changes that way. Uh, being homepage. So look, when you're offline direct mode, like you're not gonna get notifications, things like that. Okay, that's just a quick run through on the setup here with ReefBeat app. And there's talking about calibration and then there's scheduling stuff. All right, so I'm gonna jump into that next week. We'll have a first impressions of the app. I'll go set this thing up. I'll screen capture all that so you can see how easy or hard it is to set this thing up on your network. But overall, so we've got the Reese Dose color kits with red, yellow, and then green and blue. That's cool. I like the holders that are in these. Let's take a quick look at that again. All right, so you can mount this on your wall and mount that to your wall. Two screws, put your tubes in, and that holds them in place. I like that. Two of those are included. And then remember, it includes the bracket to get over the tank. Then we have the Reese Dose 2, two dosing heads, and the Reef Dose Four. Another thing I'm thinking over here at the end, I wonder if we can daisy chain these or have maybe like 16 dosing uh, for your Zeovid guys or those of you that like to micro dose trace. I'll check that out as well. There you go. That's a quick first look. The Reef Dose 2 and the Reef Dose 4 and the Reef Dose 4 color tube kit. Mm -hmm.